I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Heart Out of the Can Hot Review 2016 for the Fly Circus Space that presents yes. Spooky Haunted Circus. Yes. A different type of haunted attraction. And yes. this, I don't know if it's a review because you can't go if you haven't been Sorry. already. It was for one night only, and the real for four hours. For four hours, and the real reason we're doing this was it was an interesting experience, right? And we wanted to talk about it, even if we can't really review it in the you should go or you shouldn't go capacity, right? Yeah. So that sounds fair. Yeah. Now the fly circus space is a space upon which people train to do circus stuff, whether they want to do silk or trapeze or still bowling or, or juggling and. All yeah, that, that type stuff. of stuff. Yeah. All kinds of interesting circusy type stuff you can learn there is the idea. Right. And as a combination of exhibi exhibition and fundraiser, they put on a small haunted attraction. And I do right. emphasize small haunted attraction. Yeah. This was not particularly big. And it wasn't a haunted attraction in the traditional sense. No, it was more a performance art. Um, yes. And spooky costumes. Yes. So they, they, they had acrobats and tumblers and mm -hmm. silk um, striders and all that stuff doing what abbrevi they do. <laughs> abbreviated routines, I would right. say. They were not full routines. Right. Um, in the space, in costume, combined with jump scares from some of the other actors and a few other odds and ends. And then basically what they did is they have a space. It's a fairly small one, like I said. Mm -hmm. They divided it up using the stuff they had handy, uh, right. mats and tapestries and things like that. Mm -hmm created four separate rooms yes and you would walk through them and in each room you would see a performance that was Halloween themed or spooky themed yeah combined with a scare of some sort right and you know I went into this with no expectations I had no idea I knew it was ten bucks yeah but other than that I had no expectations and I walked out saying you know this is exactly what I expected yeah as yeah. weird as that, that sounds that seems very accurate as weird as that sounds it's the truth I did not know what to expect going in Yet when you told me it was going to be a spooky haunted circus and it was being put on by circus performers, mm -hmm. this was kind of what I imagined. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I had a good time with it. It was very short yeah. haunt. It was not particularly long. It was only like, you know, it was underneath 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. But still, I do enjoy watching acrobats. I do enjoy that thing. And I'm, right. I'm pre pretty fortunate to live in New Orleans. Where there is this circus, and it largely stems from the burlesque culture, it seems. Yeah. Where these acts often perform alongside um, comedy and variety acts and everything else. So it right. seems to all go hand in hand with one another. Yeah, seems accurate. But it, it was very, very interesting. Very pretty to watch some of these acts. And yeah. I don't, I don't know if I would say it was scary. It was an all-ages thing. Yes. No, it wasn't scary. It was definitely a performance piece uh, to show off their talents and to let people see the space where you can learn how to do these things. And they didn't do like a hard sales pitch or anything. I mean, neither no. of us are super interested in learning how to climb trapezes and do that stuff. Last time I tried anything remotely tumbling related, I think I was in the hospital for six months. I'm probably yeah. not a very good person for any of this. But the point remains, it was a very interesting thing to see the space, see what they do. Right. And this was like a little fundraiser for them. It was. And what I loved about it from a haunting perspective was that these guys are bringing back that really, really low budget spirit of haunting that we don't, I mean, even like lower, but we talked about Lafitte, even lower budget than that. Right. Yeah, Where basically just using what they had. Whatever they have on hand. A example, uh, tombstones made with duct tape. Yep. Duct tape of box, tombstone. You know what? And I saw that and went... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? In fact, in low light in the back of the yard, Yeah, that it actually great. wasn't that bad. It did yeah. not look as bad as it might sound. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was that type of thing. Use the pads, use the tapestries. Mm -hmm. And, you know, these are performers. Mm -hmm. These are definitely performers. They put on a show, and they put on a good show for us. So I think it was, right. they worked hard for it, and... I wish these guys well with their space. I mean, yep, I'll really... look forward to anything else they do in the future. Yeah, so they do in the future. Maybe they'll do a Christmas show. Maybe. We Maybe. That. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Bring some friends to that one. That could be exciting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was. I had a good time. It wasn't, I don't know if I would call it a traditional haunted attraction experience, mm -hmm. but it was a lot of fun and a neat little diversion this haunt season. Yes. How's that? That sounds good. So I know it's a short review, but it was a short haunt, and like I said, you can't go to it anyway if you didn't make it before right. this Sorry. review. So, anyways, great job, guys. Had fun visiting you guys. On that note, though, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. This is Garbage Horror Out of the Can Haunt Review 2016 for the Fly Circus Space Spooky Haunted Circus. We will see you guys. Next time.